I am Dr. Sitish Kumar Kashi, Professor, Civil Engineering Department, Walchan Institute of Technology, Solapur, presenting a topic: Lining of Irrigation Canals. Learning outcomes. At the end of this session, the students will be able to describe advantages of lining irrigation canals. They will also be able to describe different types of canal linings. What is unlined canal? An unlined canal is one which has its bed and banks made up of natural soil through which it is constructed and not provided with a lining of impervious material. We can see this canal made up of natural soil which is compacted, but there is no lining provided to this canal to reduce seepage. Disadvantages of unlined canals. In unlined canals, Velocities higher than 0.7 meter per second are not tolerable because higher velocities lead to erosion. And hence, unlined canals need a big cross section as compared to lined canals. Unlined canals lead to high seepage of water. About 30 to 40 percent water is lost due to seepage in unlined canals. Furthermore, there is a danger of bank breakage of unlined canals if there is overtopping and unlined canals lead to growth of aquatic weeds which further reduce the canal cross section, reduce discharge capacity and also need a lot of maintenance. Now, unlining canals lead to waterlogging and the effects of waterlogging we will discuss. Waterlogging firstly raises the ground water table and it brings very close to the ground level. It blocks all the voids in the soil and hence the plant roots cannot breathe. They cannot take the oxygen required for survival of bacteria. The normal cultivation operations like tilling, plowing also cannot be performed properly. Lining of canals. Ill effects of water logging need adoption of lining of canals. Canal lining is costly affair but we have to do the economic analysis of canal lining and we have to prove it that the advantages which are gathered due to canal lining are more than the cost. Lining of canals is treatment given to the canal bed and banks. It makes impermeable layer along the bed as well as on the banks. Seepage can result in losses of 30 to 50 percent of irrigation canals in case of unlined canals, but now due to lining the seepage can be reduced to a very small extent of say 2 to 5 percent. Adding lining can make irrigation systems more efficient. It means efficient use of water. Common lining materials include compacted earth, cement concrete, plastic membranes, etc. So advantages of lining, first is water conservation reduction in water losses, no seepage of water in adjacent land or roads and avoiding water logging conditions and thus saving water. Lining of canal in this way can solve many problems which are associated with water logging. Advantages of lining, it improves the command, it means due to lining a canal requires comparatively flatter slope and with the same head canal can reach up to great distance. Yeah. It is possible to maintain a high velocity as 1.8 meter per second to 2.5 meter per second also in lined canals, whereas the permissible velocity in unlined canal is 0.75. We know that Q, discharge Q is cross sectional area into V in general. So if velocities increase in case of lined canals, you need a smaller cross-sectional area of a canal when it is lined canal and a flatter slope also can be sufficient for lined canals. Now let us come to canal linings. There can be three types of canal linings, exposed and hard surface linings, earth type canal linings and buried membrane linings. Cement concrete linings. Cement concrete linings are widely used with benefit justifying relatively high cost. Cement concrete lining is tough, durable and relatively impermeable and hydraulically efficient. It is suitable for both 
small and large canals and for both high and low velocities. Cement concrete lining fulfills every purpose of lining in this way. Cement concrete lining can be cast in situ lining, short crate lining, precast concrete lining or cement mortar lining. Now just see a concrete lining being done for irrigation canal and this is a canal which is lined with concrete finished and allowing water to pass through a cross section. Here we find a cast in situ cement concrete lining. It means this lining is cast at the site only. This is cement concrete lining. See the cross section of canal made most efficient for higher velocities. This is short crate lining. We find here a pneumatic application of short crate for construction of short crate lining. This is concrete tiles canal lining. So we find here concrete tiles are used for lining a canal. We see here a brick lining. Bricks are laid using cement mortar on the sides and bed of the canal. After laying the bricks, smooth finish is provided on the surface. Another form of hard lining is border lining. It is nothing but a dressed stone blocks which are laid in mortar. So properly dressed stones are not available in nature, but irregular stone blocks are available. They are dressed and chipped off as per the requirement. When roughly dressed stones are used for lining, the surface is rendered rough, which may put lot of resistance to flow. Technically, the coefficient of rigorosity will be much higher in this type of lining. Thus, the stone lining is limited to the situations where loss of head is not an important consideration and where stones are available at moderate cost. So this is a boulder lining. This is a boulder lining as we discussed just now. Now another form is compacted earth lining. So here the compacted earth lining you can see. It is preferred for the canals when the earth is available near the site of construction or in situ. Compaction reduces the soil pore sizes, thus increases the density, compressive strength, it reduces the volume and settlement and proper compaction is hence essential to increase stability and the frost resistance of the earth lining. So compacted earth lining can be done in this way. Earth is compacted by using earth moving machinery. Now soil cement lining. Soil cement linings are constructed with mixtures of sandy soil, cement and mortar. The cement mortar can be 2% to 8% of soil. One can go for dry mix method or plastic mix method. For erosion protection, we have to we have a layer of soil cement covered with a coarse soil. Soil cement lining should be protected from weather for 7 days by 50 mm soil or straw or hessian bags over it and keeping the cover motion to allow proper curing. Water has to be sprinkled for 28 days. So this is soil cement lining. This is soil cement lining for a canal. Now plastic lining. How is plastic lining? Three types of plastic membranes are there. Low density polyethylene, high molecular high density polyethylene, polyvinyl chloride. What are advantages of providing plastic lining? Plastic is negligible in weight, easy to handle, spread and transport. It is also immune to the chemical action and it gives speedy construction. How it is constructed? The plastic film is spread on the prepared subgrid of canal. To anchor the membranes on the banks, V trenches are provided. The film is then covered with protective soil cover. So this is geopolymer canal lining, geopolymer canal lining from the same category. Now let us summarize the advantages of canal lining. Canal linings make the canal section stable. It prevents the bank erosion as well as canal breaches. Canal lining assure economical water distribution because water can be available for more area. Canal linings reduce maintenance cost of canals, 
canal lining increase available head for power generation also because the slopes are flatter let us have some questions the main advantage offered by bentonite layer lining that is the soil lining earth lining bentonite is a clay so the main advantage offered by bentonite layer lining in an irrigation canal is that seepage loss is reduced cross sectional area of channel is reduced cross section of land acquired is reduced earthwork excavation is reduced out of these just this is achieved that is seepage loss is reduced due to bentonite layer lining another question when elaborate under drainage arrangements cannot be provided and the soil strata is sandy the preferred material for canal lining would be cement concrete lining soil cement lining brick lining short cut lining and the answer is brick lining so in these conditions when elaborate under drainage arrangements cannot be provided and the soil strata is sandy one may go advantageously for brick lining these are the references which are used thank you